Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about example problem on Hasse diagram in discrete mathematics course. The given problem is draw the Hasse diagram for D12 with divisibility relation. That means we have to draw the Hasse diagram for the positive divisors of 12 with the divisibility relation. Okay. First, we have to find out the positive divisors of 12. What are the positive divisors of 12? So, 1 divides 12. 2 divides 12. 3 divides 12. 4 divides 12. 6 divides 12 and 12 divides 12. So, these are the positive divisors of 12. Now, first I am taking 1. Now, next I am taking the next positive divisor that is 2. Here, 1 divides 2. 1 divides 2. So, there is a divisibility relation between 1 and 2. Then, we have to draw the edge between them. Whenever we are taking two positive divisors, there is a divisibility relationship between them. Then, we have to draw the edge between them. Next positive divisor is 3. So, here 2 does not divide 3. So, therefore, we do not draw the edge between 2 and 3. 1 divides 3. So, there is a divisibility relationship between 1 and 3. Hence, we have to draw the edge between 1 and 3. Next one is Next positive divisor is 4. Three does not divide four. Therefore, we do not draw the edge between uh, three and four. But two divides four. Hence, we have to draw the edge between two and four. Because two divides four. Next one, next positive divisor is 6. I am taking here 6. 4 does not divide 6. So that we do not draw the edge between 4 and 6. 3 divides 6. So therefore, we have to draw the edge between uh, 3 and 6. 2 also divides 6. So, therefore, we have to draw the edge between 2 and 6. 1 divides 6 also, but we do not draw the edge between 1 and 6 directly. So, here 1 divides 3, 3 divides 6. According to the transitive property, 1 also divide 6. Because of that reason, we do not draw the edge between 1 and 6. Okay. Next one, 1 divides 2, 2 divides 6. According to the transitive property, 1 also divide 6. Therefore, we do not draw the edge between 1 and 6. Next division is 12. 6 divides 12. Therefore, we have to draw the edge between. So, 6 and 12. Next, 4 divides 12. So, therefore, we have to draw the edge between 4 and 6. 4 and 12. Next one, 2 divides 12 also. But, we do not draw the direct edge between 2 and 12. Because, 2 divides 6, 6 divides 12. 
according to the transitive property 2 also divides 12. 2 divides 4, 4 divides 12, according to the transitive property 2 also divides 12. Therefore, we do not draw the direct edge between 2 and 12. In the same way, 3 divides 6, 6 divides 12, automatically according to the transitive property 3 also divides 12. Therefore, we do not draw the direct edge between 3 and 12. So, this is the Hussey diagram for positive divisors of 12 with the divisibility relation. So, the order pairs we are getting one divides one. Next one, one divides two. One divides three. One divides four. One divides six. One divides twelve. Next one, two divides two. Two divides four. 2 divides 6, 2 divides 12, 3 divides 3, 3 divides 6, 3 divides 12, next 4 divides 4, 4 divides 12, next 6 divides 6, Next, 6 divides 12. Next, 12 divides 12. So, these are the order pairs we are getting from this Hussey diagram. There is a divisibility relationship between, between the two components of each and every order pair. So, in this way, we have to draw the Hussey diagram for positive divisors of 12 with the divisibility relation. I hope all of you understanding this video. If you really understanding this video, please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will try to clarify your doubts. For better understanding of discrete mathematics course, Go to this channel name, so Divvela Srinivasarao. Then go to the playlist called Discrete Mathematics. It contains more than 430 videos with the detailed examples. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.